want to talk about now is how many boxes you have in your brood nest. Now historically, and uh, history I mean before about 2006, almost every hive in the country had a two box brood nest. Um, and the reason for that was that it was easy to manage and honey prices were really low at that time. So a lot of beekeepers were over wanting hives on honey, so you needed two boxes for that. Um, but somewhere around about 2006 with the increase in honey prices, people moved over to a one box brood nest. And what I want to talk about are those the pluses and minuses of both sorts of management. So a one box brood nest has the advantages, you don't need as much equipment of course, you've only got one brood box for each hive, so just brood boxes and honey boxes. Where two supers you've just got an extra box in there. The problem is with a single brood box, it takes much more skill and energy into managing it properly. Because anything you do in that spring period where the queen doesn't have enough room to lay may decrease the total population of bees and it may decrease your honey production. So, for instance, an example, like if you're going to want to feed a lot of sugar syrup, they may just pack out that brood nest and slow down honey production. And even having a two frame feeder, one like this, inside your um, brood nest, that's suddenly two frames you don't have in there. And again, the queen can be restricted in the amount it, amount it can lay. Um, so you're gonna have to take this feeder out at some stage, and then you may still need to feed them, so you'll have to use a top feeder. But a top feeder, of course, unless you've got an insulated one, may cool the hive down a little bit and slow the queen down as well. So. Although single boxes are really, really popular, they take much more careful management. Now, two box hives have some advantages to them. There's no restrictions on the queen, but she's got whole two boxes to lay through, and she can't possibly lay that much out, which she can in a single box. There's less labor required, because you don't have all that careful management to make sure the queen's got all, more space. You've got the option of less feeding. You can feed larger amounts and let them store it. Um, and again, it's not going to disturb the queen. And just generally, there's more space. There are some negatives with it. You've got an extra box. The second one is you're probably going to have to overwinter in one box. Most people do. Um, so that you've got another brood box that you don't want to use for honey production, but it might have residues in. And you'll have to bring those back again in the spring. Although you can overwinter them in two boxes, and what tends to happen is the queen and the brood during the winter move up into the top box where it's warmer. So you end up with an empty bottom box. And at some stage during the spring you want to swap those around, but you have to be careful not to do it too early. Because if you do it too early and put the colony down in the bottom box, it's much harder for it to keep it warm and it may slow down colony growth. And if you've got brood between two boxes, you may have to use more varroa treatment. So if you wanted to, however, if you want to do the approach of minimum hive numbers and maximum management, then a single brood box is, is probably the way to go. If you want to be able to manage larger numbers of hives and less input into each, then probably a double brood box is the way to go. So in summary, we have the two options. If you're doing one or the other, it's probably worth trying for a half an apiary. If you've have, if you got double brood box, brood nests, try half your apiary with a single one and see how much harder it is. Or vice versa, if you've only been using a single box, try some hives with two brood boxes and seeing whether there's any benefits in, for the sort of beekeeping that you're doing.